Hey, how we doing? Right, we're getting really close to the big fire up. So let's have a look what I've been up to. Mostly been doing wiring, 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 wiring. So I'll give you a quick zip man of what I've been up to. Show you where I've relocated the box and the loom. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so my cunning plan was to run the original LS400 ECU box and the loom comes out of here and then can go into the box. Now that all worked really well. The only problem was the harness that then came from inside the car to the ECU wasn't long enough. And I was gonna relocate the battery, put that all there. It was all gonna work lovely. Dun -dun -dun. So I was gonna extend the wires that go from the, I'll show you actually. I was gonna extend the wires out of this loom. And then I realized I want to put the ECU in the car anyway, really. So what did I need to extend the wires to get this main bundle into the car? And actually, I only had to extend uh, six wires. I had to extend these ones and these ones. And then there was enough on the loom to turn it back round and go back and into the car. So now, all of the wiring is inside the vehicle and the ECU. And this massive box thing can go in the bin. And it cleans up the engine bay, put the battery back where it's supposed to be. And all the wiring is inside the cab, which is much better. Now, I've just been working my way through the original wiring loom to find the wires I'm going to need. And I've been passing them back through the bulkhead. I've also run through some extra new lives. And what I've got here is a couple of lives for the new fuse box, for the uh, new fuse box, one for the stereo for later on, and then one for the oil pressure gauge. Uh, I'll temporarily put them on, I'll temporarily put it onto the positive terminal, but I'm gonna have a second unit there. Uh, fuel lines connected. That's on, connected, connected. I don't have the O2 sensors in because I don't have, I've only got exhaust on one side. So this fire up tonight is just gonna be a pressurized fuel system and a little run up. It's got no water and stuff, so it's literally just to make sure it runs. So let's have a look inside where I've been busy. Right, it may look a mess, but it is, I've not put it all away yet because there's no point until I've test run it. But essentially that is all my wiring. That's the ECU, that's the original Volvo loom. And then this is the Phoenix engine management loom, which comes into these plugs. My OBD2, that one goes up to the fuse box. This one goes to, this is the main powers. And then this one does the gauges and the pedal because it's fly by wire. So that's pretty much installed. I've run my power all the way down the car. From my, that's the one from my uh, fuel pump under the car we did the other day. And that's all the original wiring loom there, which is all the factory stuff, which I'll tidy all up once I'm happy with the way this all works. So, really, just a few bits to finish up. So we can test run this bad boy. Sweet. Now it's time some engine oil. Glug, glug, glug. I've already half filled it and nothing fell out the sump. So my welding was obviously good. Right, fill this puppy up. Okay, so it's time to put power to it. This is the first time the ECU's had electricity and the engine and anything. So, uh, fingers crossed, it don't turn to a big ball of flames. Hazards are on. Okay, that's a good start. 
first fill leak. Little leak off the end of this rail. Oh, that's because that's completely loose. There we go. That's why we're testing this stuff. Let's repressurize the system again. I didn't hear the second pump. Well, seems to have solved the fuel leaks. I'm not. The ECU's putting up a fault code P0120. Probably because this thing here. Well, the O2's aren't even plugged in at this point, so maybe I'm happy about that. Let's see if it will let it crank, shall we? But I didn't like that. I've only got one header on, so I can't really run it for long. Fuel pressure, oh that's come up on the gauge now, perfect! It's exactly what that fuel pressure regulator filter was supposed to achieve. Right. Probably let it run for like 10 seconds. Should we give it a go? We've had one crank and a bam bam, so we know it fired. Let's see if we've got any more. too badly there's no o2 sensors on it and a few other bits and bobs so until we get the exhaust on at least the headers uh, it's a bit tricky to really get it dialed in uh, but it's, you know hey for first fire up she fired up and she's running happy days watch this space it will not be long now until this thing is cruising she's going off to the exhaust shop next week Hence the push to get it running enough. If I can get the headers on, I'd like to just drive it around there if I get it running nicely. Otherwise, it's a trade job, but sweet. Next on the agenda is the clutch. You can see there it's quite tight from the clutch slave. And I've got my new IS200 ma uh, slave cylinder down there. And I need to link the two in holy matrimony. I uh, went off to a shop locally called Thread and Pipe who made me up this rigid with a nice tight 180 that comes round into this nice flexi with a little 90 degree. So I'm going to attach that to the bulkhead uh, with some nice P-clips and then bleed it all up. Let's crack on. Okay, so got that hard line all in off the master cylinder, master cylinder, off the clutch master round to the flexi and down to that is 200 slave cylinder the problem i've got is the pedal is rock hard it's got some travel but it's like 
Ugh, boom. Bit of research, looking at the bores of the master and the slave and their relationship, I seem to be right. It seems to be the correct bore, the same as the IS-200. So either the, I've knocked all the air out and maybe there's an issue somewhere on the line or I've just, there's something I need to uh, figure about with. Or my clutch master is bad or gone bad. Uh, or I need to adjust it and put all new in. I'm out of time tonight. So uh, I have to save that for another day. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little button. Do it. Nice one. All right, guys. See you on the next episode. Take it easy.